Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can get a optimized base template project inside of Unreal Engine 5.7 that has all the ray tracing, lumen, global illumination, virtual shadow maps, and nanite features disabled. That way, if you're creating a game or interactive experience that doesn't need all these high-end features, or maybe you don't have even the strongest PC or hardware to run the Unreal Editor, you can get a much smoother editor experience and a noticeable FPS boost right away. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can very quickly create a base template project that has all the main performance heavy features turned off by default and this project will not only run and perform way better than the default templates I'm also going to show you how you can add it directly to your Unreal Engine installation as your own custom template that way anytime you want to create a new project you can start from this optimized setup instead of re-disabling the same settings over again we'll go through the exact project settings you need to change which rendering features actually matter and which ones you can safely turn off without breaking anything by the end of this video you'll have a lightweight clean Unreal Engine 5.7 base project that's ideal for prototyping, smaller scale games, stylized projects, or even just getting better performance while you're working in the editor. And if you guys are new here to the channel, my name is Smart Polly. I make all sorts of Unreal Engine news and content. And if you are interested in learning Unreal Engine for game development, I have some exciting news. My Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course bundle now has a 25% off limited time sale. To commemorate the launch of Unreal Engine 5.7, we're having a special 25% off discount. Account. So use code UNREAL57 at checkout when you purchase the survival game course bundle. Get access to over a hundred hours of learning content between both courses included in the single bundle and kickstart your game development journey today. So check it out, link in the description below or head over to my website smartpoly.teachable.com to learn more. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start off with using Unreal Engine 4.27 to create the blank project. So if you don't want to download 4.27, I will leave a link to this project project in the description below so you can follow along in the video and so we're going to create a brand new project we're going to select the games and we're going to select the blank template and the reason why we're using 4.27 as a base is because ma mainly all the major features are already set up in this project. We're going to go over all the different settings, but essentially all the baked lighting settings, ray tracing, all that stuff is turned off, global illumination, because they weren't even an option uh, in this version of the engine. So let's go ahead and click next. It's going to ask us what settings we want. We're going to choose no starter content. So let's go ahead and select that. And then you just want to name this. I'm going to name this base template. Okay, create project. Okay, so in this project, we want to go ahead and save this level. Right now, it's a blank project, so this has no levels or content in the folder. So we want to go ahead and add a new folder in here. So create a new folder. And I'm going to name this, I usually follow my own naming structure. So you want to add your own naming convention. My, in my case, I usually name my folders main okay, for the main content. And then in there, I'll add a new folder for maps. And then in that maps folder, I will save this level. So I'm going to do a file, save current level as, and I'm going to save that into the main maps. And we can just save that as new map. Okay, additionally, we could create a blank level. So create a new level empty level and we could also save that one save current level as blank level and we'll do file save all and that's really all the settings we want we have a new map and a blank level that's all good so let's go ahead and close out of there so now you want to browse where your project is installed on your hard drive in my case documents unreal projects base template and then we want to go ahead and upgrade this to unreal engine 5.7 so when I right click this project, we're going to go to show more options and do switch Unreal Engine version. Then we want to select the drop down and select 5.7. Okay, and click OK. And then we need to double click and open the project in order for it to go ahead and convert. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and compile all the shaders. So we'll just give this a second and it'll convert the project to Unreal Engine 5.7. Okay, so we open the project. As you can see, the default level Right now is actually set to the open world map, so we want to change that. So let's go to our content drawer first. Let's actually load the map. So in our maps, we have blank level. Go ahead, open that up. And actually we have new map as well. So in our new map, you can see we have things like our lighting needs to be rebuilt. So we have like static uh, lighting already set up in here. So I'm gonna really quickly just add in just like a basic shape, a cube, just so we can see like the static lighting. And then I'm going to take our player spawn over there, move it over like so. And then we can just build the lighting. Let's go to build 
and build lighting only that will go ahead and bake the shadows. And we're going to go over all the different settings that we need to adjust to make sure that all the ray tracing features, all that stuff disabled. Okay, so it will go ahead and bake that lighting there. And as you can see, the lighting build complete. Okay, so that's great. Let's go into our settings, go to our edit uh, project settings. And the first thing that we want to do is let's set the default map. So let's go to our maps and modes. And the editor startup map for our project, we want to set this to our level here, new map. So do file, save all, should have a new map. Let's assign that and default game map. Let's do the new map as well. Okay. Now let's actually go over the different rendering settings. So the first one we want to check is our global illumination. So global illumination method is set to none. Usually this is set to lumen if you create a blank project. Then we have reflections. So reflection method is set to screen space. Again, usually you have it set to lumen. Okay, so that's good. Then we have shadow maps. Usually the shadow map method is set to virtual shadow maps, but in our case, we're using baked lighting, so we're just using shadow maps. Then we also have our platform settings. So let's scroll down to platforms and select the windows. And over here, we have our rendering hardware interface. So for this, we want to select under the default DirectX 11. Usually it's set to DirectX 12 in Unreal Engine 5, the default setting. And then along with that, you want to make sure you have SM5 shader model 5 as the targeted shader model format. Okay. Now with DirectX 11, there isn't as many issues with things like stuttering, and it's a lot more optimal than DirectX 12. So you get a lot better performance. There are other uh, RHIs that you can choose, like there's Vulkan that's commonly used for like mobile. So you can play around with some other ones. So once we've set that, it's going to ask us to restart. But there's other one other setting we just want to check and make sure that we have a ray tracing disabled. So search for ray tracing and we have ray trace shadows that's disabled. Support hardware ray tracing and that's disabled. So you can see we don't have any ray tracing enabled in our project. So that is all good. So Let's go ahead and restart our project. Actually, let's just close out of here for now. And then you want to go to where your project is installed on your hard drive. We want to make a couple of changes to the config INI file. So go to the config folder and you want to edit the default engine.ini. Right click that and let's open this with notepad. Okay, so in here we want to scroll down, down over here. You can see that we have the Windows target settings set to DirectX 11 for the RHI. We also need to set all the rendering settings because if we don't, if we try and create this as another template, when we add it to our templates folder, it's going to re-enable ray tracing. It's going to re-enable all of those features, which we don't want. So right after this, we're going to copy and paste all the following settings. So these are the engine rendering settings. Things like allow static lighting is set to true, ray tracing false, virtual shadow maps are zero. So these are all the settings. You can go through all of these and you know read all of the comments. But essentially, we're going to copy all the settings and paste it right in between the Android file server editor and this Windows target platform. So right in between there, let's do a file save. Okay, so that will force all the settings for us. And I'll leave a link to copy and paste that file down in the description of the video. So now with that saved, we can go ahead and close that. And now we're ready to add this to our default templates. So you want to go ahead and now find where you have Unreal Engine 5.7 installed on your hard drive. In my case, I have mine installed under my E drive. If you didn't modify your installation, you'll typically have it under your C drive, program files, and Epic Games. Okay. In my case, I have mine under my E drive. So in your 5.7 install, there will be a folder for templates. You'll just double click, open that up. And then in that folder, we want to go ahead and copy this base template. So we're going to make a new folder over here, make a new folder. And we're going to name this TP for template underscore base template BP. Okay. So that is the naming convention. It just needs to have a TP. And then if you want, you can add a BP for blueprint. Double click, open that up. We're going to copy over the config 
and the content and then the U project files. Okay, the rest we don't really have to worry about. This is just temporary files. Okay, so we can close out of that. And then in here, we need to do a couple of settings and a couple of changes. So if we go back up to the templates, you can see that we have all these other different templates for like the first person blueprint, you know, third person. We're going to use this TP AEC blank BP. This is like the ArcViz blank template. Go into there and into the config folder, you're going to find a template defaults.ini file. So this file has the configuration for the template information, stuff like the description, the name, the category, all that stuff. We need to copy this, go back to our other folder, our base template, go to the config and then paste that in there. Then we need to go ahead and edit this. So right click and edit that in notepad. There's a couple of different settings we need to set in here. So the settings that we need to change are the name. So over here, this localized display name, we need to change this to our template name. You can give this any name. I'll name mine base template. Okay, then we have the description. So over here, blank template with minimal functionality. I'm going to replace this. So I have some text over here. I'm going to copy and paste. So we'll go ahead and paste that. A simple base template project with optimized default settings designed for maximum performance and minimal overhead. Advanced rendering features are disabled by default, making it ideal for lightweight games, prototypes, or experimentation. So that's what I'm using for my description. You can also add translations. So you can see there's localized descriptions for different languages. You could also translate that if you'd like. Over here, we have categories, I think at the very top over here, categories. This is very important. We want to change this to games since this is a games category. And those are pretty much all the major changes that you want to do. Okay, there's other different settings in here. You can change uh, things like the tags and stuff. That's completely optional. Okay, we can close out of that. The other thing we need to do is make sure that the project is named the same as the folder. So go over here. We want to copy this TP base template BP and go ahead and rename the project to have that same exact name. Very important that we do that. The last thing that we need to do is we need some media, some thumbnail icons for this. So if you go back to the TP AEC blank, we have a folder for media. So we can copy that and go back in here and paste that. In this media folder, we have some icons. So we're gonna go ahead and modify these. And also we wanna rename it. So we wanna rename this to the same exact name as our project name. So copy that and rename this to our TP underscore base template BP. And over here, same thing, except we want to keep the underscore preview. So this name it to TP underscore base template BP underscore preview. Now let's go ahead and edit these in Photoshop. And in order to edit these, I'm gonna take a screenshot from our template. So let's go to our documents, Unreal Projects, base template, open this up real quick. And let's take a screenshot of that. Okay, so in this project, go ahead and take a screenshot real quick. So I'll press G to hide the game view. Let's go into our snipping tool here and just grab a screen grab of our level here. Paste this, scale this down, a file, export that as a PNG. Let's just overwrite the file. And now we have the media set up. So now all that's left to do is test this out. So let's go ahead and launch Unreal Engine 5.7. In case you wanna click create new project over here. And then under our new project, we wanna select the games. And as you can see, we already have the template. So we have base template. And since we set up the name, you can see we have the name there. We have the icon set up. We have the description, a simple base template project with optimized default settings. So we can go ahead and choose a location. We can change the name. I'll just leave it as my project five, click create. And then we'll go ahead and create the project. So as you can see, it's going to give us this missing project settings. Shader model six is required to use virtual shadow maps for some reason. I'm not sure why it gives us this message, but if you go to the project settings and search for virtual shadow for shadow map method, it's set to virtual shadow maps, even though in the config settings, we set it to just shadow maps. So you just need to make that change. Other than that, all these settings I'm pretty sure have stuck. So we go to Windows. Yes, SM5, DirectX 11, for the RHI, and then we can search for all settings, go to global illumination. So, okay, so global illumination is set to lumen, that needs to be set to none. Let's just double check our config. So config default engine, 
edit that. Yeah, dynamic global illumination method to zero. So I'm not sure why some of these settings reset. And also we want to search for reflections. We want to make sure that we set this to screen space for reflections. So you just need to double check some of those settings. You can also go to your project settings and search for anti-aliasing. In 5.7, we can choose uh, SMAA. So I'm going to use that as our method. I will fix those edges. You can also set the settings, the default settings for the template project. Now, if you want to go ahead and package this project and test out the settings, we can go to platforms, package project. We have to select the windows in order to get the package uh, project button to be ungrayed out there. So we'll select that. And now with the platform selected, we can click package project. And I'm going to create a new folder, select the folder. We'll show the output log here up on the screen. Okay, and it's completed. So let's go ahead and cl close out of this project. And we have our test project. Let's go ahead and run it. And we're getting about, yeah, 900 FPS in this project packaged. So yeah, that's the frame rate we're getting, as you can see in the standalone package build. This is at 1080p. And obviously I am on my desktop, so we could go ahead and test this on a couple of other low end machines. This is using the static lighting, all the major features turned off, and we could even test the in editor performance of this project. But this is just a good base project for building. You know, maybe you don't need all the nanite features, all the ray tracing, the global illumination, and maybe you're just working in the editor, but you don't have the strongest PC. This will definitely boost your performance. But that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys found this video helpful, let me know down in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video and subscribe for more future videos and tutorials.